What's up, Zombie Slayers? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG48, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die, where we are going to be working on the Horde base. Now, during the night, uh, last Horde night, I did lose one of these um, one of these simple lights. They're just too weak, and they're too exposed. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use these spotlights to give myself uh, light in here. Uh, I feel like this area right here... Yeah, I already put one up right there. I feel like this area right here in the corner is very, very safe. I mean, as far as the base goes. I mean, nothing's probably really safe, but it feels really safe. So I'm going to put one in that corner, put one in that corner, and then I'm going to put one right there. Now we're going to move it back one spot. I'm going to move it back one spot. I could make bulletproof glass to put in front of these things, but the problem is last time I, I used a spotlight with bulletproof glass, it made like a, a shadow pattern of X's. It was really, it was really, really annoying. Um, so I did not like it. So I'm, I'm going to try not to use Bulletproof Glass. I might try again to use Bulletproof Glass just because, you know, it's been a while. But, yeah, I don't know. I do not know. All I know is these lights are too weak, and I am not going to be dealing with them. Okay. And let's go ahead and... That's not what I wanted to do. Got to make sure this is... <laughs> it's getting a little complicated here, so I got to make sure I got the right stuff hooked up. So that goes... That goes into there. That goes into there. That has no light Did I, I just turned it off that's right okay there we go all right beautiful and then you um will need to get some power okay and then you my friend need some power all right now we need to aim this one right like that yep looks good to me and we that's already been aimed it's really, it's a really good time to do the whole light thing too, because it is nighttime. This is, uh, this is a perfect time for this. And there we go. And that's what it'll be like on Horde Night. I can live with that. That ain't bad at all. Hell yeah. Turned out to be a pretty dope Horde base. All right. So what is next on the old agenda? I'm not putting in another four dart traps for this one. Uh, oh, I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. Okay. I have them all on me. Let's go ahead and drop some of this off. To kind of make some room. Mm, yeah, let's put one of these back on there. Alright, hopefully we can save it this time. Probably not. These blade traps are such a waste. I mean, they do an absolute butt ton of damage. They are devastating. But at the same time, uh, they, they freaking... They break too easily. Like, a cop looks at them wrong and they're broken. Alright, so which one? This is going to that. And that one's going to that. That's going to that, that's going to that, so this should go to here. Now if I hit this, the blade trap should go on. Okay, beautiful. Make sure the other blade trap is fixed. Uh, what am I missing? Steel? Right, I think my steel is in my vehicle. The only thing this thing's missing is a little garage for the bike, but... Oh, it's not in my vehicle. Oh, that's right, I didn't put it in my vehicle. I put it on this... this guy. This girl. Sorry, Sarah. Sorry, Sarah. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and repair that. I'm gonna have to do. So, I'm gonna have to do a serious mining thing here soon, because uh, I am just. I need iron. I need metal. I need. I need freaking gunpowder. I need a lot of stuff. All right, we're gonna be setting up for. Um, oh boy, I'm gonna set up for demolishers for this for this horde night. There's no way we're getting demolishers on this horde night, but you know why wait, right? Oh, repaired, huh? Oh, look at that. This thing took some damage. Alright, now where would be the best place for the shotgun turrets? So I think the birds... If, I, if like, I don't know. I, I'm not usually up with the birds, but if I had to guess, I would think the birds would be flying in this area. Probably... See this area I'm running around? Probably within this area. I don't think they will be flying in the area behind me. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the turrets up a little bit. And in the back. Maybe that'll work. Uh, shotgun turret. And we want them facing the front. Now, shotgun turrets don't have a ton of range either, so the range might be a problem. But we'll see. Alright, over one and against the wall. Over one and against the wall. Yeah, that should be okay, I guess. We'll see. Only one way to tell. All right, now I would prefer to have them, uh, yeah, I want these things to be protected. 
a lot more than they are. Oof, I don't want to fall down there. <laughs> I really don't want to fall down there. Um, all right, let's do this. Build a little thing up from here. There we go. That looks good. Okay, so we want to protect these things, and mostly we want to protect them from the, the outside portion over here. I did not like what we had up there, so I moved everything back, and I now know what I want to build, so let's go ahead and build it. We're going to use these half thingies, uh, just like that. Um, cube half, there you go. And then what you do is you go on face, on face, on face. Um, yeah, all the way up. There we go. And we're only going to protect the back because that's the only part um, I think we have to protect. Uh, because, you know, I don't want any cops puking up here or anything weird. But I do, we obviously need the front of these things to be able to shoot. So that's what I'm going to be doing. All right. So now what we're looking for is we're looking for a top part of this. Honestly, I don't remember how the top part of this was going to go. But uh, yes, I do, actually. It's wedge. There we go. Wedge top. Can we do one face with this? No. So this has got to go advanced. Oh, R. R. No. Oh, oh, come on. Work with me. Probably R a couple times would have worked. And then... Let's try R. Nope. Okay. It's always hard to tell which way to go. There we go. So that's the defense right there. Alright. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in at the corners. And that's going to be cube, half, and hmm, do we not have a corner here or what? I don't know. I guess not. All right. Oh, whatever. Well, I'll find it. There it is. Cube. Wait, cube quarter. Of course it's a cube quarter cage. How can it be a half, numb nuts? Yeah, all right. Well, that's a hell of a thing for you guys to say to me. All right. You didn't think it, but you didn't say it, but you were thinking it. <laughs> Alright, so let's go back like this. There we go, and then we copy rotation. Alright, now all we gotta do is find a uh, corner piece for this. So, let's go ahead and get a full block so we can kind of nerd pull, nerd pull our way up there. And I'm pretty sure I can find a corner piece for this. But, <laughs> who knows? And there it is, didn't even take long. Right there, we got the wedge 60 tip corner top. You know. The old wedge 60, wedge 60 tip corner top. You know, how, how did I not know that? All right, I'm going to leave the top of it exposed. So that way this thing will have range. Uh, I don't really like the side range. You know what? I'm going to take the sides off. Let's just leave it in the back. And should I just leave it all like that? Uh, no. We should take this down. Like that. Yeah, I, I was thinking, like, I wanted defenses from the sides, but then, you know what? It's mostly from the back where we need the defenses. Oh, I kind of like the way that looks like that. All right, all right, hold on. Hold on, copy rotation. No, not copy rotation. Copy shape. And then what we'll do is we'll put these corner pieces back. Not so much for efficient for effectiveness, but it just looks cool. And then this will go like this. Yeah, all right, let's take a look at that. All right, so that's got full range of motion on the whole front of the base and the sides, and it's protected from the back, and it looks cool. Wow, actually, that looks really freaking dope. Oh, man, I like that. Let's build it over here. Oh, hell yeah. All right, I'll just put these up first since I already have them. Oh. Oh. Come on, man. On face. On face. No. I think what we could do is we could put this right here and then go on face like this. Yep. Oh, there we go. Okay. Then copy rotation. And it goes... Nope, it goes right to there. Alright. Now once you've got these blocks down, you could just do uh, copy shape. And then you don't have to keep looking them up. I, you know, one thing I, I, I like what they're doing with the blocks in this game... Man, I'm gonna I'm really close to falling off here. I like what they're doing with the blocks in this game. The only thing I wish they would change is allow us to do favorites or something. Or maybe organize them better. Or maybe I just don't understand the way they're organized and they're organized fine. I don't know. But it seems very unorganized to me. And at the very least, I'd like to 
Um, that's not what's supposed to be there. At the very least, I would like the ability to um, uh, do favorites. Which there we go. And then we gotta do advanced rotation. Is that it? That is it. And then this bad boy goes right here. Okay. Is that right? Oh man, that that's pretty that's pretty cool looking. I'm really happy with that. You know, while I'm thinking about it, why don't we go ahead and make a couple hatches? How am I going to know which way they go? I can never tell. I'm just going to put them down as wooden ones. I can never tell the way the metal hatches go. Alright, so... That's not going to work. So what we have to do is... We, it's, there's got to be something up here for the hatch to latch onto. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take a pole and just put it behind. Uh, advanced rotation. Alright, we'll do the same thing over here. Okay, and then we should be able to put those on. And we want them to open out. No. Like that. Yes. Okay. And now we can upgrade them. Costs a little more to do them. Oh, you have to actually make these anyway to upgrade them. I forgot about that. Huh. Okay. Fair enough. And we'll upgrade this. And we'll upgrade this. And I think we're going with this, so let's just do it. I think it looks pretty dope. And I, I like functionality, but looks are also very important to me. If things can look cooler, that makes them all the better. Okay, let's do over here. That should be good. Alright, that's good. Now if the dirty vultures try and, you know, come down through the ceiling or puke on the ceiling or something, that will keep them at bay. Oh, I just thought of another cool thing about this. Oh, I thought of another cool thing I could do with this. Okay, hold on. Let's just finish upgrading first. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make some ladders. That's not it. <laughs> How about L? There you go. Uh, let's just do six. Upgrade that. Okay. And now we need some ladders to get up there. I'm going to put the ladders on the inside. And that way I don't have to keep... I don't have to nerd pull up every time I want to do something. And then, zombies shouldn't be trying to get up there. So the fact that there's ladders on the floor really should not mean anything. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to just... I need to think about where I would like to put the uh, relay. The relays because this is what's going to feed into these things. Um, I do want them to be protected, the relays. So, um, I don't really like the relay right there. I could put it right here. Yeah, I, I kind of want one right here to feed both of them. I just don't know how that, well, uh, yeah, that should work. That should work. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put one right there. Okay, and then we're going to put one right here. I think they're, I can't really tell what the middle is. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there is no middle. Okay, so I have to figure out exactly what block that was to make sure it comes up exactly where I want it to. How the hell am I supposed to do that? Alright, this is how I'm going to do that. Go ahead and make another cube. Do like that. Like that. That lines it up with the door. That's lined up with the door. And that will tell me exactly where I need to put them down up here. Okay. We'll put it right there. And we do want it defended. Um... I think just a wedge thing would be fine. Uh, advanced rotation. There we go. Um, maybe in the corner too. Yeah, I might as well do it on the corners. Who knows? A cop puke might be able to get up here relatively easily with any luck. And there's no reason not to defend this. I mean, if this thing goes down, I lose my turrets on the roof. So. Damn it. There we go. We even put something over top of it. Is there any reason not to? Well, there's nothing to, for it to hook onto. So, I'll probably leave it the way it is. Putting some... Well, it's really wrecking me up here that this freaking thing is not... It, it's even. It's driving me crazy because there's no middle. So, I'm just going to put a second one down here so it's, it looks more symmetrical. That should work out pretty well. I've got these new blocks that I've never used before. Uh, let's take a look at this one really quick. 
This one's called pull plate half, and I'm putting that in the back, right? All along the way. And then I'm using these things right here, which are called pole plates. And they, lo they look pretty good. I like them. So let's put these in, and this needs to go on face. Uh, it's got to go on the bottom. Okay. Then we're going to do advanced rotation. Alright, we want this to open down. Yes, like that. So when we want to deal with these, we just come in and we do that. Alright, cool. Let's upgrade all this. There we go. It looks pretty decent. It looks cool. A little housing here. I just don't like the freaking fact that the, the base is... See, the thing is, the... um. I need two blade traps for this base, and I want them to fit in perfect, perfectly. And if they're going to fit in perfectly, they have three blocks each. That's six blocks. It makes the whole base even. It's just the way it is. Eh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right, so let's come on down here next, and then we're going to grab this wire. Okay, so is this going? Yeah, that's doing things. All right, so those are all doing things. Very good. So we're going to come over here, we're going to grab this one. And the, the shotgun the shotgun turrets on the roof are always going to be on. No need for a switch. So let's come on up here. And open that. We do that. And then we go to this. I guess I'll hook them up separately. Just because I can. I don't know. The, the only reason there's two relays up there is for symmetry. So, I don't know. Whatever. It's all good. There we go. All right, now I come up here, and options. All right, so I'm not really sure. I don't want to be aiming up here because, you know, they're going to come down low. So I think this is honestly pretty good right about here. That should be pretty decent. Let's take a look. Yeah, I mean, that's covering, like, all this area over here. And then for this one, we'll do the same thing. Okay, maybe a little bit lower. Alright, cool. So, can we upgrade these? Alright, let's do that. That. That's all looking good. Close that up. Yeah, I kind of like that on the top. I really do. I think we're going to stick with the turret motif for this episode. And what I'm going to do next is, first of all, like that. Let's get our blocks back. There we go. And I think the next thing we're going to do is set up for demolishers. Now, no, we're not going to get demolishers tonight. But, I mean, why wait, right? Let's just start setting up for demolishers. So what we're going to need for demolishers is we're going to need... Where are they? Are they in my... They're not in there. That's okay. I got to put shotgun shells up top anyway. So let's come over here. And grab the shotgun. One, two, three. One, two, three. Maybe I do have the... Do I, I have the turret? Yeah, they're right there. Okay. My inventory is kind of a mess. All right, that's fine. Still got to come up here. Yeah, this is cool. I like this setup. Uh, one, two, three. Block ammo. Just in case I forget to do it before Horde Night. Only thing I like about this setup is if I have to come up here and deal with these uh, turrets, it could be a problem because they're, they're not super easy to get to, but that's okay. That should be just fine. So here's the thing, all right? Beginning in Alpha 20... Auto turrets do not set off demolishers. At least the, the powered auto turrets. I don't know about the self-auto turret, the one that you can put down anywhere. You know, the one I used last episode. I don't know about that one. But these, at last I heard, do not set off demolishers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in here. I'm going to hook them up on a switch. And when demolishers come in, I'm going to stop shooting. And I'm just going to let these things take care of the demolishers. Hopefully. Now, I don't know if they're going to take care of the... Oh, God, look at how... Uh, Oh, it's killing me with this not being in the middle. All right, I'm going to have to deal with this. I'm going to have to deal with this somehow. I don't know how, but this has got to be more symmetrical. Anyway, um, yeah, you just put them on a switch. Now, I don't know if they're going to be able to take the demolishers. Because there's going to be a lot of zombies here. And they might choose to shoot the other zombies instead of the demolishers. So that could very well be an issue. But I I'm not really sure. We're just going to have to wait and see. Uh, all right, so we're going to put this over here. Okay, upgrade this. I'm not sure what I'm put up in there. Maybe another light or something. I don't know. I'm going to leave it alone for now. Alright. That's looking pretty good. 
All right, so should we hook him up or should we build a housing around him first? Let's build a housing around him. And I think what we're going to do with these is we're going to go back with bars. Okay. Um, bars. That's how you spell bars. There we go. Um, iron bars. You can make wood bars, can't it? Wait, why can't it? Oh, that's right. Duh. Oh my god, I just had a really brain fart. I think it took back to Alpha 16. We had to make the bars. Now you don't make the bars. You just take in here and look up bars. Here we go. Oh boy. It's been a rough uh, rough week for me. Alright, so just like that. And, well, you know what? You know what? I think we just have this go right across. I don't like the idea of bars below. Um, cop pew can go through bars, right? I'm like 90% sure on that. So if a cop comes in, like let's say a cop comes in right here, gets hurt, explodes, it could theoretically mess up those those turrets. So um, I wanted the turrets to be able to shoot straight down, but it's not really of utmost necessity. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put these right across the top. There we go. All right, I want to hook these uh I want to hook these turrets up next because I want to find out exactly, you know, where they're going to be able to see. You can't aim turrets until you power them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that right there. Okay, and we're definitely going to need a switch for this and it's got to be somewhat close and protected. Oh boy, I don't really have a lot of room for switches. I guess I could put it right here. No, I don't want to put it on the ladder. I mean, I guess I could, but I don't want to. I could put it on the roof. Um, I don't like it on the roof. I also don't like it on the first, like, area right there. I don't really have a good solution for this. I don't love the spot I put them in, but I got to put them somewhere, so I put them on the roof. What, what are you going to do? Um, just couldn't really find a better spot for them. All right, so um, that's going to go from here to there. You will go from here to... Oh, look at that. <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, so this is coming... All right, so where's this line going? It's going to a few different places. Um, this line right here... Yeah, this is good. So we could go from here to here. And then once we flip that, that turret should be on. Oh, <laughs> that's not the door. Let's go see if we could turn this thing. Also, check its visual range. You hear that? Is that my house? Is that like a running toilet in my house, or is that zombies, or... I don't know. thought I heard something, but... Okay. Oh, yeah, that... No, that's plenty of range. That's plenty of range. So anytime a demolisher comes in, I will flip the switch and allow these things to decimate them. That should be pretty good right there. All right. And then the second one... We'll go... Oh, I already put up the second one, apparently. So now all we've got to do is hook it up. And then we'll be good to go. Yeah, I mean, we're ready for Horde Night. We really are. All right. I think I asked you guys a lot of questions about what you want me to do in the series uh, last episode or maybe the episode before. Just so you know, I recorded those episodes back to back and they're not even up yet right now. Uh, so I haven't seen what you said. So if you gave me any, uh, you know, anything, you know, let me know how you feel about it. I haven't seen it yet, just so you know. Um, I don't like the way that's on the side there. I think that's a relatively safe area should be okay i'll have to i'll have to use steel on specific areas you know like right here see how that's on the roof i would use steel on that that block right here i would use steel on all three of these sides and probably below it too you know you gotta be very gotta be careful where you use steel if you don't have a lot of it which i don't oh boy all right let's see how this one goes should be pretty good too. All right, and there we go. So those two things will decimate anything that comes in here, and I will save them for demolishers. They'll also shoot the demolishers in the back. So even if demolishers were like Alpha 19, shoot them in the back, they don't explode. But a lot of times when they get shot though, they turn around and stuff, so they kind of explode anyway. I was hoping to do a lot more upgrading today to kind of get some more experience. Um, I'm one point away from. Uh, Light Armor 4, which would be nice. Um, I'm about to do some upgrading, though. Let me see what I can get done here. Well, I did it. I did more upgrades than I planned to just to get that level. <laughs> but I really wanted it. I really wanted it. All right, let's go ahead and spend that point. 
And light armor. We will be making light armor next video, probably. Unless I forget, which I probably will. All right, guys, I do think I'm going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.